Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, finally, uh, to Stranger Things. It's been forever. I am very sorry. I just, I did not have the time to finish off an amazing series so quickly because now that we know that there is a season four coming out, I think it's a good time to finish off the remaining two seasons and then crack right on to season four. And I have caught up recap myself as to what season one was we had will we had dustin we had lucas we had uh finn not finn no that's the actual actor's name uh and then we had one more boy and then we had 11 who's the one who has the superpowers um and then we had uh chief hopper we have joyce will's mom will's brother is uh I can't remember his name, but he's into this chick called Nancy. Uh, Nancy is going out with a guy named Steve, but I don't think so anymore. And then we had Barbara in the first season that has been taken to the other side and she's a goner. And then, um, well, I guess that's the main character character. And then, of course, we have the parents here and there for uh, Will and Nat. None Will. What's his name? Nancy's brother's name. I can't remember the one who uh, likes 11 uh, We have them we have their parents and they have a little sister and uh, Yeah, have I caught up? I think I have uh, I'm very excited to continue on this uh, journey and I know there is um, I know will was um, one of the hosts for uh, well the the, the big monster in the upper uh, upper east side <laughs> that's exactly what was gonna come up <laughs> i don't know why upside down um <laughs> i don't know why upper east side i i just watched friends so <laughs> that's just in my mind but um in the upside down and uh well i if i recall correctly he's not telling the entire truth because he uh i think he vomited like a piece of that uh, creature uh, sort of like a slug or something and uh, he still feels that a part of that is still in him and it's not completely gone even though naturally they they got rid of it but I don't know how exactly it's gonna pick up because definitely with that slug there that slug is in the current world it's not in the upside down but it's in the actual reality so let's find out and see what happens i'm definitely going to catch up on everything and this is during halloween so i guess perfect timing it's i think it's been one year since i've watched stranger things so not not good enough from my end so i'm apologizing for that but i'm very excited to continue and yeah i hopefully i can finish this off by october and i then i'm ready for stranger things season four and what's to come but let's just dive right into stranger things season two episode one mad max chapter one okay let's find out and hopefully we get a banging season as we did in season one and then of course we have another season and then i'm gonna enjoy myself because i know now i have some things to look forward to but yeah let's not read any further let's just get right to it oh, okay <laughs> Police have come just on time for this. <laughs> She also has the power, but of illusion. Oh my god, the mark! It. Oh, welcome back, 
me. She has the power of illusion. Pretty sure she was a test subject as well because of the tattoo. So there's 11 and 8. Sean Austin! You're joking! Stupid penny. Dusty, watch it. You must get new. Can I please check on your cushion? Dusty? Mom, please, it's an emergency. Oh. Take your puny hole and multiply it by five. How? Are you just grabbing around like a homeless bump? I mowed old man Humphrey's lawn. Old man Humphrey's got that kind of cash? Just call me already. <laughs> you call kind of cash? I'm take a shower from doing real work. Like a man. Hi. What the hell are you doing? I'll pay you back. <laughs> Oh, our kids! I freaking love our kids. Couldn't care what my age is, I will act like a kid. She's so concerned for a little boy. So sweet. Oh shit! He just got destroyed. Someone has taken your high school. Mad Max! 51,300 points! That's impossible. Who, who's Mad Max? Better than you. Holy shit, what? Hey, hey guys, do you see the... Oh, uh, goosebumps! Oh, uh, okay. I don't know if I'm ready for this though. I forgot that the horror element is a part of the show. Get away from I only want five minutes. Yeah, I want a date with Bo Derek. We all want this. This isn't a laughing matter, Jim. This is serious, okay? I really got something here. I'm telling you. I'm talking multiple reports now. Multiple reports, okay, of a Russian child in Hawkins. A child? What are you talking about a child? A girl who may have psychic abilities. Psychic. Psychic. Hey, did you hear the one about the fat man with the beard? <laughs> then last month, the co-worker of Ted Wheeler's claims some Russian girl with a shaved head was hiding in his basement. Ted now denies this. But you're telling me that Barbara Holland was kidnapped by Russian spies. Kidnapped, no, she did. killed, killed. Don't you get it, Jim? No. This has potentially international implications. Okay, hello? Meryl called. Wants you to check out his pumpkins. Says they've been contaminated uh, by his vengeful neighbor, Eugene. <laughs> you're welcome. First paragraph, you use the, um, the basketball game versus Northern as a metaphor for your life, which is great. Mm -hmm. But then, around here, you start talking about your granddad's experiences in the war. Hey, calm no, down. I'm calm, I'm calm, I'm just being honest, you know? I mean, I'm just gonna end up working for my dad anyway. That's not true. I don't know, man. Is that such a bad thing? And if I took it, you know, I could, could be around for your senior year. Steve. Just look after you a little bit, make sure you don't forget about this pretty face and stuff. Right, this is going out. I ain't so serious. <laughs> Check out that ass. Just look at it go. Oh no. Oh no. This is not fair. I freaking hate bullying. 100 billion. The latest passenger to join us on our curiosity voyage, Maxine. Yeah, Mad Max. Welcome. Hey there. Such a bug. I'm sorry. I just, I can't stop thinking about you. It's crazy. I feel like a teenager. Oh. You know, in high school, you didn't know who I was. A green one. Told you I like to not to pick anything scary. I hate scary movies. Well, I think you picked the wrong show then, Bibbs. <laughs> Surprise winners. Chief, you should have seen them. For the life of me, I couldn't figure out what happened. And then I remembered Eugene. What about him? I think you're playing about me to just about anyone that will listen. You're telling me that nice old Eugene came out here after dark and doused your fields of poison. Well, not Eugene himself. Taking one of his field hands. No, no I don't know. Sense. You got somebody working in that field? 
What is that? Look. <laughs> Fucking cruise. Yeah, screw you too. <laughs> Someone with her same name breaks our top score. I mean, you kidding me? Exactly. So she's gotta be Mad Max. She's gotta be. And plus, she skateboards, so she's pretty awesome. <laughs> awesome? You haven't even spoken a word to her. Hey, I don't have to. I mean, look at her. Shit. I've lost her target. Oh, there. Stop spying on me, creeps. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hello, you liars. Your mother's here. I think he's okay? He's always weird when he has to go in. I don't know. He's quiet today. He's always quiet. He has to go in where? Wait, where are they going? I just thought he was picking him up early. There, there's nothing to be nervous about. You know, just tell him what you felt last night, what you saw. Hey, I'm gonna be there the whole time, so it's gonna be okay. Oh, so sweet. Hey, I mean, I remember how they saved Will inside that shit. Jeez. Life or death situation, what would you pick? Uh, I guess, uh, Reese's Pieces. <laughs> good call, good, good call. So sweet. I'm more of a mounds guy, but I gotta say, peanut butter and chocolate, come on. There was a storm. Fuck me. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> so how did you feel when you saw the storm? I felt frozen. No, like how you feel when you're scared and you can't breathe or talk or do anything. I felt, I felt this evil, like like it was looking at me. What do you think the evil wanted? Well, to kill you. To kill you? Not me. If the ego just got to know all of us a little bit, I think it might want to reconsider. It's called the anniversary effect, and we've seen this with soldiers. The anniversary of an event brings back traumatic memories, so it opens up the neurological floodgates, so to speak. So what PTSD. Does it look like the kid? Oh, it's got more episodes, nightmares. Yeah, that. Maybe some personality changes. But might get irritable. Might lash out. The thing is, that what didn't look like PTSD. It worse and worse, and we're just supposed to pretend like it's not happening. It, it didn't look like memories. Though, it looked like it was I happening. Assure you, that is really the best thing you can do for him. Trust me. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I know, but you know, university kids have a degree. This guy's got it. And look, that post-traumatic stuff he's talking about. That stuff is real. How's uh, Bob the brain? <laughs> Don't call me that. Sorry. Old habit. <laughs> it's good. We're good. Good. I'm happy for you. Oh, hey. that's a jelly belly. Oh, you're joking. Oh, uh, yeah, nice try. You just want me out of here so you can make your move. Oh, because you're such a threat. <laughs> that's right. She will not be able to resist these pearls. <laughs> What was that? Ten o'clock. You're arguing, you're arguing. I see that. I don't even know what you need, though. I'm so stupid. She is. Mad Max. Wow. You want to the bathroom stall? So if your friend jumps off a cliff, you're gonna do? He looks like that. I know you had a hard year, Michael, but we've been patient. This isn't strike one. This isn't even strike three. It's strike 20. You're on the bench, son. You've never been my coach. You're lucky to still be on the team. Two boxes. Two. It's 
So I noticed a for sale sign out in your yard. Is, is that the neighbors or do you want to tell them? Go ahead. He was an investigative journalist for the Chicago Sun-Times. Pretty well known. Anyway, he's freelance now and he agreed to take the case. Oh, no, they're thinking that Dar is still alive. I'm a real detective on the case. It means we're going to find out, Barb. Oh, my God, he's worth every last penny. Shit, is that sound. why you're selling the house? Oh, don't worry about us, sweetie. We're fine. Oh. More than fine. Fuck off. The first time in a long time. We're hopeful. I don't know where this hope is coming from. You guys were best friends. Uh, that's horrible. Parents still have hope that they can find Barbara. And it's Murray, the guy who's been talking about the Russian spies. <gasps> Don't you freaking dare put that in the yard sale, I swear. It's day 352, 7.40 p.m. If you're out there, say something. Or, or give me a sign. I won't even I won't even say anything. Just I wanna know if you're okay. Oh, hello, is that you? Yeah, it's me, Dustin. What are you doing on this panel again? I've been trying to reach you all day. We were right. Max is Mad Max. Yeah, I'm busy. But what the hell is that? <laughs> Stop treating me like that. What? Like what? Like everyone else does. Like there's something wrong with me. What are you talking about? Mom, Dustin, Lucas, everyone. They all treat me like I'm gonna break. Like I'm a baby. Like I can't handle things on my own. It doesn't help. It just makes me feel like more of a freak. You're not a freak. Yeah. I am. I am. I, I have I have friends. Then why are you always hanging out with me? Because you're my best friend. Right, and I would rather be best friends with Zombie Boy than with a boring nobody. I love Kenny Rogers. Oh. <laughs> so funny. Nothing. Mr. Mom. Woo! Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> a bigger freak. I love it. Oh, poor Joyce. Shit. It's triggering memories for her as well. It is real. PTSD. <laughs> Uh, Jurassic going wild. See, this is what I mean. This is not PTSD. This is like it's happening right now. He's living through this. Are you serious? Oh, I'm feeling it too. I don't know if you can see, but I'm like. Who's bombs all the way? Holy shit! I'm not gonna ease up on that pair of hips. was an epic first start to the episode um well as i said it's been a year since i've come back for some reason i remembered certain bits of the previous episode like the finale of uh, season one i remember l destroyed that creature uh that looked like a clicker more than anything if you know what i mean but um and then she disappeared with it as well so I just assume that she went to the other side. And when we saw a certain segment of that episode, we saw Hopper putting in some Eggo waffles in 
a, a sort of like a small little box in the middle of nowhere and then when he comes back to check on it the egos are gone and that's something l likes so then that's when i assumed how is that possible like if um if mike was like trying to check up on l and he said it's day 352 that means day 352 since the attack at the school he must still think one of two things that maybe she's alive and that she's in the other side and that she is well dead and he's trying to communicate with her somehow but i genuinely thought that she was alive regardless because of these two sort of mirroring things like the egos in the uh, box and then her taking down that creature and then i just, just automatically assume she went to the other side unless that's not what happened i'm trying to think did we see that happen or did we just see her disappear i whatever well she's alive i'm pretty sure because this revelation looks like well it may have been that she was it we were unsure whether she was alive or not but i guess they gave that away in the first episode i mean the last episode that the echoes was something that hopper gave in that bo box and well it was gone so there were chances that she was definitely alive anyhow um well welcome back out it's been a minute and um we now have um will going through some really nasty things what the um the doctor sort of his diagnosis about what he's going through is some anniversary effect that's something that happens to soldiers where it triggers memories for them to sort of relive those moments that cause bad like you know sp spiked up moments in in their brain and basically his ptsd is a cause for him to feel what he felt at the arcade and what he now is feeling but the thing is to me this doesn't look like PTSD. Definitely he must have PTSD for the fact of what he went through. But currently what we were seeing, what we saw at the arcade and what we saw at the end of this episode, those don't look like memories to me. Those look like it's actually happening right now. He's feeling that. And of course, the, you know, the, the feeling of getting those goosebumps and you know, I, I remember him saying it's like, you know, a, a quick chill down your spine when you feel cold, he's around you. That's happening. That means he's feeling him around him. But that could also mean naturally if you are going through PTSD, that can also happen regardless. But at the same time, the, the thing we are seeing doesn't look like memories that have happened before. We don't see that. We've never seen this before. This is something definitely he drew. We saw it on the television and all of that, but not television. Uh, where did we see it? I saw it somewhere. Like on the, um, he drew it, right? Somewhere? Did he not draw it? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I've seen this, this thing before. Maybe we haven't. That's the thing. I don't know if you've seen this. I don't know. It's been a while since I've watched it and I'm assuming we've seen it, but these don't look like memories to me. These look like, actual future not future also present present day it's happening and i feel like somehow he's still connected to the uh, the upside down and hence he's able to sense him being there the monster and that's monsters freaking terrifying i don't know what it is or what like it said like will said that it wants to kill everyone not him interesting that's very interesting maybe it will find a way to kill everyone through will because i think maybe like will is sort of like the portal i think maybe will is like the person who went to the upside down and has survived and has come back so it's sort of like he is sort of like the access point to the actual world for the monster is that am i am i making this shit up like I can make a nice to series out of this <laughs> if, if, if I'm just like thinking it in my mind. But I don't know. That's that's where I'm thinking it's going. But yeah, um, 
well it's still the first episode we still don't know a lot but the main thing another thing is we saw the first scene that there was another girl called Kali by the way I, I well done for I, I I don't know if she's Indian or not but Kali is definitely um, an Indian goddess's name well you could say goddess of I don't know if she's destruction or war or death but definitely a person who has her tongue out like the goddess who has her tongue out um and i completely had no idea that there could be other people like l i thought that l was the only one and looks like she's also another test subject that has the power of illusion and she is she's able to like well make things happen without them actually happening and her number is eight so l is well 11 and kali is eight okay i don't know if they were there together in the same vicinity of that test subject the experiment or if they are i don't know part of if she was a part of another uh facility but definitely the tattoo looks the same i remember the tattoo very well of uh, elves so they look really the same but yeah uh so we don't know much about her we only know that she has powers as well and we know that this um investigator murray who went to hopper talking about russian spies um in hawkins i think he's definitely onto something and he's definitely write about what he may have figured out like where the russians who well he doesn't know about l or any of that but he knows that barbara was a part of this and she, he believes that she may have been killed and barbara's parents still have hope that she might be alive or maybe she might they might get at least find out what happened i don't know what their they looked like as if they were hopeful that she's going to come back. But yeah, so it's it's quite like crazy. Anyhow, um, let's see what happens. And then we've got a new uh, character, Maxine, also known as Mad Max, who is crushing it in the arcade world. And she's with this boy who is really angry all the time and drives very rashly. But I don't know what he is, who he is. I don't know if it's her father or brother or can't be boyfriend for sure. But just I I don't know. It's one of the uh, one of the two who would drive her to school. Step step brother. I don't know. Uh, I'm just guessing. Like I'm literally like putting out my theories now. And yeah, let's see what happens. I guess Halloween and we're prepping up for the spookiest month and let's see how this affects will because this might trigger certain memories for him but for him but he's not actually told anyone that he's act living through whatever he's seeing or what he is seeing i don't think anyone knows that and you could tell that joyce also has a little form of ptsd because of the phone call like the phone ringing i remember the first episode like how not first episode, the first season where the phone would not, like it would burn all the way through and she had to buy new, the, the rings just to get a little hope that Will was alive and that's how Will would try to contact her from the upside down. So you could see that she also feels, she has those uh, memories, those unfortunate bad memories that can trigger her as well. So through as a family they all have gone through a lot but of course will the most being there actually but i wish he would tell someone what he's going through properly i mean he is telling the doctor but not to the extent where i think people are believing that it's actually happening and not a memory at least that's what i think it could be a that's why i don't think it's a memory i think it's actually happening that's it that's my theory anyhow I'll see you guys in episode two. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't, please don't forget to wear a mask and stay safe for your friends and family. Till then, see you in the next one. Bye.